Hello everybody, I am Mika Seppälä. In this video I discuss ticket prices for football games. This is a problem number 14 of the set of solved problems regarding optimization. Here a football team plays in a stadium with seating capacity 80,000. With ticket prices at $20, the average attendance had been 51,000. When ticket prices were lowered to $15, the average attendance rose to 66,000. Our task is to find the demand function, assuming that it is linear, and then using this demand function we have to figure out how the ticket prices should be set to maximize the revenue. Let us denote by capital N, P, the average attendance at price P. We are given that the demand function is linear, therefore it is of the form capital N at P equals some number small case M times the price P plus some other number small case N. From the question we understand that the points 20, 51,000 and 15, 66,000 lie on this line capital NP. The equation of a line passing through these two points can easily be computed by standard formula. So this equation is capital NP is 51,000 minus 66,000 divided by 20 minus 15. This is the slope of the line passing through these two given points times P minus 20 plus 51,000. And this simplifies to N of P equals minus 3,000 times P plus 111,000. The second part of this problem was to determine how the ticket prices should be set to maximize the revenue. And the solution is that we first observe that the revenue, that's the income we get from the ticket sales, is price times the number of tickets sold. So revenue is price times demand. And we have now a formula for the demand function. This NP was minus 3000 times P plus 111,000. Therefore, the revenue function, capital case RP, is P times capital case NP, which is P times minus 3,000 times P plus 111,000. And uh, by expanding the brackets, we get that the revenue function is minus 3,000 P squared plus 111,000 times P. To maximize the revenue function that was minus 3000 times p squared plus 111,000 times p, we find the critical points of this function. We differentiate the revenue function with respect to its variable, which is the price, p. The derivative of the revenue function is minus 6000 times p plus 111,000. The critical point of this revenue function is obtained by solving the equation r prime p equals zero, that is minus 6000 times p plus 111,000 equals zero, and that yields that p equals 111,000 divided by 6000, and this simplifies to 18.5 dollars. Now we observe that the revenue function is a parabola that opens down because the coefficient of the second order term is negative. This means that uh, the only critical point that it has is its global maximum. And therefore, the ticket price that maximizes the revenue is $18.5. And the maximum revenue at this optimal price can be easily computed by Substituting 18.5 in the revenue function, we get little over one million dollars. 
This photograph is from the Bobby Bowden Field at the Rock Campbell Stadium, home of the Florida State University football team. Seating capacity here is over 82,000. Now, this season 2010 has been pretty successful. And uh, in the aftermarket, the ticket prices may be more than doubled. So one can say that a better way to increase the revenues is to have a better football team. Then the prices can be set higher. So instead of lowering the prices, one might want to consider improving the football team.